Happy Friday, everyone. We have now entered into the season of Lent, a season of preparation and reflection as we walk on the journey toward Easter. And our theme this year for Lent is God's promises. So we're using, again, resources from the Reverends Mary Cyphers and B.J. Bew to guide our time, in addition to some resources from Seasons of the Spirit curriculum. Our worship on Sunday will draw from their resources as we examine biblical stories that remind us of God's promises. And this coming Sunday, we are privileged to have Mary and BJ preaching for us, sharing a pre-recorded sermon on a story from Genesis 9, the story of God's promise in a rainbow. Each Sunday in Lent, we will close our worship with a refrain from a beautiful song in our hymnal called, In the Bulb There is a Flower. It's a reminder that sometimes God's promises are outside of our immediate sight, but just like within the bulb, there is the promise of a flower. Sometimes even in moments like these, when perhaps God's promises are not evident, we know that that hope still lies within, and we trust that the day of the fulfillment of that promise is coming. During this season of Lent, you're also invited to tune in on Facebook or Instagram, where my colleagues, the Reverend Iona Dickinson and the Reverend Petra Malise Sternberg, are joining me to share the daily reading, just quick three and a half minute videos that we'll be posting on Facebook and on Instagram. So you're welcome to tune in there each day for those devotionals. If you picked up your Lent at Home kit, we hope that this week you will um, enjoy time to work on your rainbow craft. I know many of you on Ash Wednesday had a chance to make our cross thumbprints using the ashes that were still on our fingers. And if you didn't get a Lent at Home kit, we're going to be sharing the activities and you can use resources around your house to participate in these crafts with us. So I want to say thank you again to Julie Lynn, Pam Kruzberg, and Laura Kern McCraner who made those Lent at Home kits possible. And I hope that whatever ways you choose, you will engage in this season of Lent as a time of drawing closer to God as we anticipate the fulfillment of the promise of new life that we will celebrate at Easter. Have a great weekend, everyone. See you Sunday.